we start this mirror project by drawing out the shapes that will be used as templates. I am cutting out the shapes that Erica has drawn. We have quite a lot of short end off cuts left over from a previous job. I'm planing two faces and an edge so I can cut the required thickness on the bandsaw. Using the template, I mark out the required shapes. Once Kevin has marked the shapes, I cut them out. I drill the back and screw in a threaded insert. I wind the shape onto a protruding bolt which holds it whilst I shape it. I mark in the high points where I don't want to remove any wood. I found the best way to get a nice rounded shape is to just dab it round. My job is to sand the shapes to get them nice and smooth. A final stand up by hand. That's how the shape looks finished before spraying. Let me just show it closer. I'm wetting it up to show you how nice the grain looks. I'm gluing the mirror to the 10mm backing board. Then drilling out two sets of holes so the mirror can be hung in either portrait or landscape format. Here I'm spraying the first base coat. After each coat of lacquer has dried for an hour, I rub it with a fine sanding sponge. A 
a shot of the piece is drying after the fourth coat has been applied. A quick cleanup before fixing on the shapes. We've attached an L-shaped straight edge to act as a placement guide. After a lot of hours, it's finally finished. We hope you like it and have enjoyed watching us make it.